Hey guys, I'm GTX and welcome back to Sky Mechanic in Scrap Mechanic. So, if you missed the first episode, go check it out guys. Uh, we started a new map here. This is Sky Mechanic map. It's pretty neat, pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, so, last episode, uh, we did collect a bunch of stuff. Well, there's a bunch of extra stuff now that I have collected. We extended to some of these platforms, got all the wood and stuff and... Uh, yeah, now between episodes, I did build this over here to the small little island and to the large island next to it. And I just wanted to test something out and it actually does work. So I built on this small island, I put all my crop plots down here. Yeah, I uh, farmed a bunch of carrots just to get all the soils and stuff. Uh, but yeah, I had like a whole barrier and everything around this. And I took it down, planted just this one, but I don't see a raid timer. Uh, I don't know if it's going to work. But yeah, we have a bunch of crop lots right now. What's that? 10, 20, 30, 45. So it's a decent amount. So we got 45 crop lots that we can plant. I made a little seed rack here that's like an extra piece of soil. I did not. Hey, stop breaking my steps. Stupid towbot. Yeah, this towbot spawns like every minute, like right over here somewhere. Oh, I completely broke that now. That little towbot. It's okay, we can still get across. Uh, but yeah, I tested it. Uh, apparently, they spawn up there. Um, a few fall as has fallen down. Uh, the one haybot fell down and survived, but that was way in the start. Uh, I farmed this like three, four times already, just to get the amount of carrots to buy all the crop plots. But yeah, they don't spawn on here, like at all. So I think this is a pretty, pretty neat spot small little island so if you guys are also playing uh, sky mechanic uh, go to one of these tiny little islands um, mine had these beeswax on it and there's actually two chests one spawn over here and one spawn over here and since i took down the barrier and i had some extra blocks uh, just placed down like this to block the bots from spawning like right next to the farm um, they they don't spawn here at all actually i want to quickly plant another set um, hmm you know what let's do the blueberries and the orange seeds uh, should I do some spots nah would we'll you ju just do the basic ones for now so blueberry oranges and then those two uh, yeah so plant these in the middle and then I'll just plant these kind of around it and we'll finish off with uh, carrots I guess we should have enough so yeah this farm works pretty great uh, nothing spawns here it kind of sucks in the one end because I kind of need to kill haybots to get the scrap metal but I totally forgot that you can uh, you can just buy scrap metal uh, from the trader over there and yeah it just takes uh, I think it's three carat no, it's one carat crate uh, we'll check it out in just a sec let me just put these back there we go any other seeds no actually I have another full set of ten now on me I was uh, saving that to get another crate so let's get over here, I'll show you guys, you can just buy scrap metal from uh, the trader, which is simple and uh, then you don't have to farm the hay bots. On the other hand, you're not getting any component kits because they do have a chance to drop component kits and circuit boards obviously, but yeah, um, it's not too bad. So in the trader, you can buy for uh, tomato or carrots, you can buy the scrap metal block, which is pretty neat. Uh, I do want to get bananas as well. We need three carrot crates though, so might wait on that a bit. 
And then fertilizer is just getting some beet and uh, bananas for that. So yeah, it's pretty cheap. You can also buy circuit boards, but uh, just killing the top pots is good enough, especially for component kits, because these heads. Each one of these four topot heads that are here are three components. So three, six, nine. I got twelve components just sitting there. Which is pretty awesome. And then I also have like eleven on my inventory. Like I said, I explored a little bit. Uh, let's make this crate. Craft this bad boy up, get it sucked up, and then uh here we go. Take this off, put that on. Now I don't know if, if any of you are also playing the game. Um, do you have trouble with this button of saying that not connected? Sometimes I have to tap it and move around constantly to eventually suck up something. I don't know why that's happening to me. Uh, so we kind of we got 45. So if we do one more swell bag purchase here, we'll have 50 crop plots. I think 50 is a decent size so let's do that. We'll go slap this 5 down down there quickly. We got 2 minutes until the raid. I'm not too bothered uh, like I said I don't think they can spawn on the island but we'll check now once I have removed all the blocks from the floor otherwise if they do spawn and they mess up my crops I'm just gonna add those blocks back. Actually I did plant all my heavy duty uh, I guess uh, I'm quickly just gonna place these back uh, I don't want them to spawn and mess up my seeds because uh, I found the orange and the blueberry seeds in chests so I don't want to lose them and yeah this is what I did I just placed blocks like this so uh, it blocks spawns I guess it should I'm not sure. Like I said, I wanted to taste it, but now I planted everything. All my high value seeds, so I'm not going to do that right now. We'll do it a little later in the episode. Again, taste to make sure they can't, uh, you know, spawn on here if we remove all of this. But yeah, we got a nice big crop uh, plot right here. Uh, did build a little bridge. As you guys can see, there was a bunch of trees around here, and there's. Uh, the honeycomb as well. Give me a circle board, your little top butt. Uh, yeah, just chopped out all the trees, kept myself busy while stuff was growing, just so you guys don't have to sit through a montage of me doing that. So, yeah. Okay, so today I actually I farmed some extra extra carrots in between. I almost forgot to place down the soil. Uh, but I did farm some carrots, kept them separate from uh, buying soil. Uh, I actually need to water all of this. Kind of forgot about that. Last one. Okay, cool. Everything's watered. And we put down, so now we should have 50. Uh, you see that hay bot? He just fell. Uh, there comes the top bot. Uh, another top bot. Yeah, they just kind of fall from uh, <laughs> the the big island up there. I don't know why. I don't. I don't think it's because of the raid. What time is it? Oh, it is the raid. Maybe there are the raid ones because it's raid time right now. But yeah, like I said, I think they spawn up there and then they just fall down here. <laughs> It's kind of cool. Uh, one other thing is that's wearing me out is because um, what you call it, the hay bots. They can fall all the way down here, like you saw this guy right here, and he'll he'll be fine. He won't die. And then, well, this one rolled down, so there goes another one. But the big farm bot, if the farm bot falls down here, he insta dies. I uh, had one chasing me on this island right Okay, <laughs> gives another tub but uh, Where was it? I think it was yeah on that island back there Now was it yeah was the island back there? 
He jumped after me and the farm bot died, but the two hay bots that followed me, they just hit the f uh, ground, ragdolled and just got back up, which is, I think needs to be fixed. Um, if the farm bot can die from that high, the hay bots and the tow bot should definitely die because they're much smaller. And yeah, basically smaller equals less durable, I guess, in uh, my opinion. So they should also just die when they fall from that height. I fell down to there and they were chasing me and I dropped down to there and uh, he died. Well, I also died, but he died. I picked him up. I'll show you guys quickly. I have the key right here. There you go. Got a little warehouse key. Dropped from him and he just dropped the circuit board. Not even a component kit, but yeah. I'm uh, getting a little low on water, so let's just fill that quickly. Just like to keep some water on me. You can also throw it at the the bots as well, especially the hay bots. But in any case, uh, I made some extra carrots, so I bought some of these uh, metal scrap blocks, turned them into metal tier two. Uh, as you guys can see, I had 60. Uh, I got 10 left. So that's the amount we need to make uh, the drill because I really want to get into the drill today. So we need 20 metal block 2. So that should not be too bad. Metal block 2, we just need amber. Okay, let me just grab these. Here we go. Should be enough. So we need how much? 20? Yeah, 20. So we just need to craft this twice. And then we have 30 metal block left uh, and 30 left. Perfect. So you need a total of 60 metal block or one, uh, basically. And then you can convert 30 of them to 20 metal block two. And there we go. We can get the draw, guys. Uh, I also found another bearing in a chest. Uh, it's uh, there where my farm is, the chest over there. I got it from there. And then those chests actually respawn, so that's also pretty neat. Uh, okay, let me just uh, put those back. The water can stay, it's fine. And then I don't have a lot of wood, but I really do want to get into the uh, into the metal stage. So there's a bunch of there. Let's go over here. I know throw is farming detected. Yeah, I know. Ooh. Almost fell down there. Okay. So over here. Ooh, caught it. Nice. So we'll do this one. So we're gonna do a basic build for this. It's not gonna be anything fancy. closer so now should be able just to spin the drill by hitting it and it should do damage there you go there you go break it there you go there you go that's what I wanted and yeah this is a really cheap way to do metal 
actually saw this uh, from Scrapman. He built this full the first. Well, it's where I saw it. I don't know if he uncovered it, but yeah, you can just smack the draw with your hammer and it'll draw. It just needs rotation to apply its damage, which is pretty neat. And look at that already. Three metal bars. And that's what we want. Nice. Okay, so yeah, I'm just gonna be doing this for just a little bit, guys. So I'll do a little montage for you guys. There we go guys, I uh, got 80 metal and 100 uh, scrap stone from uh, this one little note right here. Well, uh, okay, I actually got a little more scrap stone. Forgot I placed this on here for a little bit of weight. Uh, yeah, but you can just chuck this on the left and if I delete it, it's gonna place these resources in my inventory. I got my drawl, got the wood back, got the um, stone back as well. So we've got 160 stone and 80 metal blocks. Not too bad. I want to go home quickly. I just want to check. Uh, I just want to see what we can maybe make the wild tool. <laughs> what does it cost to make the wild tool? Because if we can get the wild tool, uh, this will work way better. Quickly, let's see. What's the wild tool cost? Tools, wild tool. So we need 20 metal block 2, so we need 60 metal block 1. Okay, cool. Yeah, we can actually... That's it, right? The rest we do have. Okay, cool. So we just need 20 of these. Let me just grab some of that. Okay. Was it 20, right? Yeah, there's 20. Cool. 10 and 20, we got a wild tool. That's gonna work way better. Craft our wild tool and collect that. Okay, cool. I uh, just want to swap these two. I'm used to my wild tool being on number two. Okay, cool. So let's go get down, get some more metal doing, and yeah, and we can start progressing. Uh, six minutes until the raid. We'll go check out the raid, but like I said, I don't think anything's gonna happen there. Let me quickly build a new uh, drill. Uh. Nothing, nothing. Uh, there. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah, that's like nice on top. Okay, now we just have to get up here and uh, whack this drill. Now it shouldn't move, it's just gonna drill straight now.
There we go guys, uh, that one's finished. Just gonna take this apart now. You can actually save this on the left. So let's go do that. Let's call it Sky Mechanic Drill. Save that. Cool. So now I can just delete it. I get all the resources. And yeah, whenever I wanna go mine, like resources I can just have all the resource uh, that I need to build that on my inventory go build it over there and uh, yeah drill it out now I have to manually mine it so it's gonna cost me a lot of food and drink well, especially drink so what we want to do is we want to get electric motor controller I think it's too slow but if you double bearing it but then you have to upgrade the controller you can double bearing it yeah so the controller would probably be good uh, three glue I think we actually have uh, we have two. Oh yeah but I have some glue clamps right here so it is a director part yeah let's just make four more glue oh yeah I upgraded the craft pot one so I can queue up four things now uh, I just needed to give up more stuff for crafting. So I also did upgrade that between episodes. Uh, just cost some component kits. So it was not too bad. Okay, and then need one of these. Uh, I'm gonna need a switch as well. I can make one. Nice. Okay. Mm, a piston. Do we want a piston? We probably do want a piston. So 10 tier 2 blocks. So just one of those crafts. And I can get a piston. There we go. Getting low on uh, component kits though. Circuit boards are doing okay though. So we are going to need a bunch of component kits right now to upgrade some of the... Oh, I did find a suspension and a, uh, a engine in a gold chest down there where the big red bot uh, attacked me. So we do have an engine and a suspension. Which I can actually use the suspension. And then I just quickly want to make some component kits. Where are they? I'm blind, I'm blind, I can't see it. Where is it? I know you can craft component kits. Where is it? It is on all. Um, I don't see it. I just looked at it. Ah, oh, here it is. Okay, so three circuit boards and one tailboard head gives me three component kits. So I can only make three of them for now. Then we're all out of circuit boards. But that's another nine component kits. Should be decent amount for upgrading some of our stuff. Like we definitely need to upgrade the controller. Because I want to add two bearings at least. Uh, I need more bearings though. Give me one more bearing. Yeah, let's uh, see what type of drill we can quickly build up here, guys. <gasps> a connect tool. I don't have a connect tool yet. Oh boy. Oh no. I just use all my circuit boards. I need two circuit boards and some. Uh, wait, 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 wait. We can salvage this, guys. Uh, that top did respawn up there. 
But I know there's a top pot down here and sometimes a hay bot spawns as well. So let's quickly see. Oh, and the chest are back. Nice. It's nice that the chest actually respawns. Uh, I kind of like that. It's pretty neat. So you can always go back to the same spots. Like here, two gold chest. Oh, yeah. Oh, a radio. It's revival baguette's not going to help me too much. Uh, suspension. Oh, uh, yeah. I also wanted to put the suspension on there. And a normal chest right here. Seeds. Ooh, we got a circuit board. I just need one more. Where's the top? Oh, uh, he probably fell down, didn't he? <gasps> and now I fell down, and they're gonna kill me. Come on, get up, get up, get up, get up. Crap, and there we go. Okay, cool. Ooh, we got a fight on hands, guys. It's three. Three top bots and two. Oh crap! That fast. Uh, maybe I can do the little lift trick. Ow! Still got me. <laughs> oh no! Thought I was gonna be fancy there with that lift. At least it's keeping that uh, one hay bot distracted right there. So you can take care of all those top bots. The connect tool, obviously. Skip myself one of those. There we go. Connect tool, you're always over there. On number nine. Uh, so we're just gonna turn that on. These are gonna turn the bearings. I mean, I can upgrade the controller, so. Maybe once more. If I double that, it should be max speed. So I'm gonna put a 360 in a loop. I'm gonna push the button. that back to zero okay so left time you good okay cool so let's rename this sky mechanic uh, mine, uh, v2 uh, it's not double in B2, there we go, save that. And yeah, we have our little miner now, a little upgraded. We'll test it out the next episode, guys. That's gonna do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I'm GTX, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!